Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make fruitcake. Now, I don't really understand why fruitcake gets such a bad rap because it has butter and it has rum in it. Sounds good to me, right? Well, this recipe is a little different. It doesn't have the candied fruit that it usually has. It's actually dried fruit that has been soaked in rum and it's a more fluffy consistency rather than the dense one that you're used to. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to cream together a half a cup of butter, which is one stick, with a fourth a cup of packed brown sugar. Once those are both combined, you're going to add one egg. So once these are well combined, you're going to whisk together the dry ingredients. Which for this, it's half a cup of all-purpose flour, an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. In a separate bowl, you're going to stir together two tablespoons of milk and a fourth a cup of molasses. Just kind of mix them until they're combined. The next step, you're going to put this into the mixer, but you're going to do it, you're going to alternate it. So you're going to do flour and molasses, flour, molasses. I'm going to start with the dry ingredients. Once I have it all in there and it's not going to splurt in my face, I'm going to put it on medium. Once it's all combined, I'm going to take it off. and finish mixing it with the spoon because it has some extra flour on the sides. If you don't have the standing mixer, you can also use an electric hand mixer to do it. But do the same steps, alternate the flour and the molasses, just do the same thing. Now I'm going to fold in dry fruit. This has mango, cherry, um, some citron, and some pear. It's been soaking in a fourth a cup of rum for 24 hours at room temperature. And this is a fourth of a cup of chopped pecans. So you're gonna gently fold it in. And then you're going to add it to a prepared bread pan. I've prepared it with a piece of cut parchment paper. Spread it into an even layer. So you're going to tap it to get all the air bubbles out, make sure it's even, and then you're going to put it into a preheated oven at 325 for 40 to 45 minutes. So after 40 to 45 minutes, your fruitcake should be done and you will be able to smell the butter and the rum throughout your whole house. It's incredible in here right now. So you're going to take it out of the oven. And you're going to cool it on a, on a wire rack or a cooling rack for 30, 40 minutes. So after cooling, the fruitcake is ready to eat. Most fruitcake recipes, however, take and require aging, but I don't like to age my fruitcake. 
As a matter of fact, I can smell the rum right now and I can't wait to dig in. So that's how you make fruitcake. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see me cook anything else, send us an email at request at mahalo.com or watch any of these other videos.